Hey guys, it has been a long time. I have been so freaking busy. I don't even know where this year has gone. Actually, I've been so busy that I totally almost bombed this clutch. I had a big problem with mold. But, anyways, hi. Uh, I had a clutch of short tail pythons hatch. Look at this. So I was going to pull them out real quick. It looks like most are out of the eggs. Um, and there's a couple of, like, really, really small ones. So I am going to get them set up in this tub, which is just literally, um, paper towels and some water so they can get cleaned off and stay hydrated. Because short tail pythons, um, dehydrate super quick. Like, as soon as I open this box, their skin starts getting wrinkly. Look how small this one is. This is the smallest short tail I have ever I've ever seen. It's so tiny. Look at it compared. Look at it compared to this other one. This is like a this one on the left hand. This is like a this is a normal size hatchling Sumatran. But this one, I mean, its head is even like a it's like a fraction of the head of that one's size. Uh, the size of that one's head. You know what I mean? See what I, and and see what I mean by how they're already starting to go wrinkly from being out here in in the open air. So I'm going to get these guys situated in a wet box. I'll put this wet box back in the incubator. And let's see. Okay, we've got a bunch of disgusting eggs. This is an empty egg. There's nothing in it anymore. It's already left. But there's a snake right next to it. An angry one. Come on. Oh, look. Here we go. Another fresh short tail. That one's that one's really good size. It's plump. It's got a, uh, a well-shaped head. So this, these eggs, this was one of the longest clutches I've ever had incubate. It was uh, 74 days. And I thought they would be a little bigger and a little more robust for, um, for going 74 days. Oh gosh, everybody's like hiding under this egg crate. Let's see. But still a good clutch overall. Look at that. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, they all look really good. So putting these guys away, there's a couple more hiding under the eggs. Oh, a bunch more under here. Another one. And another one. Oh, that's a little chunkster. Super chunky. With the faces. They're so cute when they're first born. So anyways, this, this clutch is uh, Neptus with a son of Quick Draw. His name is Eventide. So this is a second generation. This is my first second generation. Like this is... I produced the father, and now the father has produced these, so I'm a grandma. Um, let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight there, and it looks like there's still several in the eggs that do not want to come out. Let's see, we're going to throw away some of these because they're getting really stinky. I said 74 days is a long, long time. That's empty. Let's see, this one's empty. I'll peel it off the top. That's empty. Oof. There's a slug here in the middle of all this. That, I just left it in there because I didn't want to disturb the eggs. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight still in the eggs. That sucks. They're just not coming out yet. Eight. There you go. Anyways, fresh clutch of babies. Let me show you these babies real quick before we go. Ta-da! perfect little short tail babies. They're start, 
I'm going to start getting real snappy in a second now that I've disturbed them. So, that's what's going on. I also had a clutch of carpet pythons a little bit ago, and I have some rainbow boas getting ready to come in soon. I mean, uh, not come in, be born. We're about a month away from that. But I got some short tails. Oh, here's one still in the egg. Like I said, these eggs were getting really gross. They need to hurry up and coming out of these eggs. All right, everybody. I will talk to you later. I'm going to get these back in the incubator and uh, start cleaning some more cages because that's my life.